Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome back to Edenia. Today we're playing some more on the Hermit Pack. Uh, I've rearranged this kitchen to make it fit within the first squares. Now take a look at how I did it, because these blocks need to connect to these blocks, but apparently these also go within the uh, within the multi-block. So having spice racks across, tool racks across here, this block is now connected to that block. So I've done this all around. All the blocks are connected. There is a spice rack up here on which I can put the uh, cooking no filter manual. And the no filter manual can be used to look at recipes without actually crafting them any old recipe in the book. Now one of the best things to make in this uh, pack is glowing bread. Glowing bread takes glowing water and glowing water takes um, some glass, some nether wart, glowstone and water bucket. It's a... Uh, Originally named Holy Water in this mod, yes. Uh, so this is from the Reliquary mod, and it's very good, and it gives you three glowing breads, but it's uh, rather expensive because it needs glowstone, and I can't grow glowstone. So um, I think we're going to go for the Beef Wellington. Uh, this takes steak, or raw tofake, as it's called. Uh, if you make it from tofu, it's called a tofake. Uh, today we learn. Um... So yeah, uh, if, if you see uh, anything with tofu, you can also take the normal meat uh, from it. But meat is renewable, but it's not uh, automated, uh, or at least easily grown. Uh, extreme chilies, oh, that looks good. Uh, so you can sort by saturation as well, and the best, sa uh, satura uh, the best saturating meal is an apple pie. And it's relatively simple, we can do all of this. So, uh, I'm feeling a bit peckish, so let's indeed make a apple pie. So, we need some dough. Uh, oh yeah, don't scroll uh, on the items itself, because it will try and craft it. It's really, uh, it's it's a bit, a bit strange. But yeah, we can do this. We've got salt, uh, we've got dough. Let's um, put all of this in here. Let's make 32 dough. That will be enough, thank you. Uh, this is where I keep my uh, my flour and my dough and stuff. This is where I keep my toaster as well. Uh, this will be the diary uh, counter. Uh, I, I might change it to a fridge because dairy needs to be stored in a fridge. But I'll think about it. Uh, I love having a counter. Having another fridge would be a bit overkill if you ask me. Uh, I don't know anything for this yet. This is vanilla. Vanilla stuff. And this will be, uh, I don't know, something... I keep all of my veggies on here, as you can see, it's uh, nice and neat. And you can just uh, right click with an empty hand to open it like a shelf, and then you can put stuff in it, which is really nice. You can sort it as well, and if you really want to, uh, if you really want to um, organize it, I guess you'll have to automate it with pipes, and that will look really ugly, so we're not going to automate this kitchen. This is automatic enough for me. So we're going to make an apple pie. Uh, let's see, what, do we, what else do we need? We have sugar, we, have, we don't have any apples in here. Uh, we should do uh, in the system. So let's take a look at apples. There we go, 36 of them. Now there's also something you can do with a regular old sapling. And if you craft this with three apples, you create a special apple sapling. Now this apple sapling will, there you go, you can turn off. Apple sapling will grow uh, into an apple tree, which will uh, produce apples by right clicking the leaves. So that's really good, let's have one of those. Uh, we're probably gonna make a garden for, for all the trees as well, probably in a similar fashion, because I don't really care if the leaves overlap, it's just, it's just about the fruits. So yeah, that's really nice, really nice to have. Uh, Let's see, apples go in this cupboard because it's vanilla. And now we should be able to bake an apple pie. Look at that. Click again to craft. And we've made an apple pie. Uh, also, uh, just for those of you who have been paying attention, there's an invisible hopper right here. Uh, it's between here and the smeltery, and it will feed tiny charcoal into the oven. Need we cook anything? The oven is really inefficient in that it takes four tiny charcoal, so half a normal coal. Uh, to cook one item, but it can cook multiple items at the same time, up to nine, as you can see. So if we, uh, for instance, what 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 does need some cooking? Uh, let's see, we don't have any potatoes, but let's grab a handful of potatoes before we eat this delicious apple pie. 
Now, I'm allergic to apples in real life, so this is quite the treat to me. Uh, I never have apple pie, which is a bit of a shame. But um, anyway, let's put these uh, in the system. There we go, in the multi-block structure. And let's bake. Oh, there we go. That's, uh, that's I scrolled there. Shouldn't have done that. Click to cook. Let's cook all the potatoes. And now it will do nine at the same time. And that is really efficient on coal because it takes uh, four tiny charcoal to do nine of them at the same time. So if you efficiently want to handle this, uh, only do nines uh, of cooking anything. And I believe we can take the... Uh, these are still connected, so I believe that if we want oh, pancakes, wow. Uh, veggie strips, oh, that, this is all really tasty. I love it. Uh, is there anything we can make with the, or do we need to take it out? I think we need to take it out. There we go. Let's put the baked potatoes in. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at the things we can, oh, nice apple pie. I'm just going to have it. There we go. Uh, so, apple pie is the best saturating food. This will make sure that I don't have to eat in a long time. So, we might want to make a, a lot of these. Uh, yeah, you know, why not? Let's make a lot of apple pies. But I really want to diversify. I want to do something else every day. So, uh, let's take a look at this, for instance. This is uh, bacon and apricot jelly. And apricot jelly is made from apricots and sugar. We really should automate the sugar uh, sugar farming, don't we? Now, I know for a fact that there used to be something in, I think it's magical crops, to... No, that's punji sticks. I thought these were seeds. You can make seeds off of these, but I don't think it's in this mod pack. No, you can't make seeds out of sugar canes. That's a bit of a bummer, so we'll have to uh, automate uh, this some other way. We could do with the block breaker, I guess. We have some mechanical miners. Uh, I don't think, I don't know actually if they use power, but we have some miners. Let's uh, let's take a look. Miner, mechanical miner. Now, if we put this right next to another one, will this uh, will this work? If we just put it here, yeah, that will work. It will take it. So, uh, it does take a bit of grid power, it seems. So, if we set this up to have a couple of these, it will always have an infantry of... Oh, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll just do it like this, right? Now, this one will always mine the uh, sugarcane, which is nice. I uh, don't have another block. No, I don't. Let's grab some dirt from here. There we go. Because I really want to set up both of these just off the side. Uh, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll do it like this. Plonk one down. A mechanical miner here. And this will have to be one of, no, uh, one of them. There we go. And then this will be another one. We'll just set, that, uh, set down a row of these mechanical miners and the rest will be organic. Because this is something we look at every day, which is not the best. Um, this is fine. Yes, plonk you back down. Those two will gather some sugar canes while I'm off doing something else. So, yeah, this is really nice to have. Really nice to have uh, a cooking station. Uh, some variety, some spice of life, as they say. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see to getting some other seeds and some apricots and whatnot. So you can actually buy animals off this market uh, place as well. So we've bought a spawn chicken egg, which is really nice because now we can put the chicken anywhere we want and make it into an egg farm, which would be really nice. Um, we should have it in here, actually, uh, this presser. Can we put the presser anywhere else so we can make this into a chicken pen? That would be a bit cruel, wouldn't it? Yeah, we probably best do it somewhere else. So, um, where do we want our chicken? First off, take this off. Uh, we could put it by the vacuum hopper, which would be a, a vacuum chest, which would be nice. Uh, yeah, I got a comment from someone uh, saying I should build a vacuum hopper instead. 
Um, sadly, I do not uh, have it in this mod pack. Also, I've turned off terrain animations again because it was really, uh, uh, really stuttering for me uh, at the end of last episode. So these worms do not move anymore, but you know, that's fine. Uh, so we've got all kinds of, uh, of crap, <laughs> really, over here. Uh, a lot of things we're, we won't use because, you know, um, we can't use it. Oh, this needs to be spread. These are tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, really love these. Uh, I need to place this chicken somewhere. That's my uh, first priority, I guess. Oh, I can't can't put it there. Can we take it off? Can we access it with an empty hand? Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, that's great. So we've got beetroots. And we've got some sweet potatoes, which are somewhere on this. Yeah, now, now they are, at least. <laughs> so you can put anything on these spice racks, which is great. Uh, it, it looks cool as well to have all of these vegetables on, on the shelves. Really good. Uh, I don't know where to put this chicken, so let's just put them in a cupboard for now. Uh, we've got a cupboard up here, right? Yeah. There you go. We'll, uh, we'll pick you up later. We've got golden lassoes. We can pick them up anytime we want. So, uh, where is my book? There it is. Take it, and let's take a look. So, apricot glazed pork is really good, apparently. Uh, apricot jelly. Uh, is made from apricots and sugar, so we need an apricot sapling, I guess. I'm thinking apricots are grown from a tree. Spruce, maple, acacia, jungle, paper bark. It's sad that you can't scroll with the scroll wheel. You have to actually have to go up and down to... There it is, apricot. Three emeralds will do it. We're going to buy an apricot sapling. And we're going to plant it. Uh, here we go. Uh, this will produce apricots for us, which will create the next tier of item, uh, the next tier of food. It's not actually a tier, uh, but, you know, works like one. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So let's harvest the entire garden and let's put it on the shelves and let's uh, see what else we can make. We also want to get some soybean seeds, and let's just spend nine emeralds on this, shall we? To get nine seeds. There we go. Because soybean is needed for the tofu recipes, right? So if we ever want to make something vegetarian, we're going to need some of these. We've got empty plots. We can, uh, we can do this. We can put this together. So there we go. These guys are hard at work now. Uh, oh, there's a zombie. Uh, let's lead him out of the garden before we start hammering down. Oh, look, this is grown, and now you can just pick apples from them, which is really nice. Just uh, when it's when it's ready, at least <laughs> that one apparently isn't ready. Oh God, an invisible spider. That is one nasty thing. Those invisible spiders are really nasty. Uh, can I pick this with a, a tool? Or do I have to smash it? No, I don't want to smash it. Apple. Do I need something like a fruit picker? Or is it just not ready yet? <laughs> we'll see. Um, anyway, let's go for a, for a quick sleep. And let's go do something else for a second. Because I could spend my entire life <laughs> on this mod. But you know, I want to uh, I want to enjoy some other things as well. So let's uh, let's take a look around this episode. So I thought we we're going to do a bit of automation. So why not? Uh, we need a yetta range first of all. Uh, cooking up some uh, some coal powder and sulfur in here. But uh, that aside, we needed that to make the yetta range. It takes electrical steel, which is made in an alloy smelter with coal dust and silicon. Rather expensive. Uh, anyway, we need a chest to put in all of the ores that we want to smelt. And we need some item conduits to connect them all. Now this is set to extract mode, but this needs to be insert and extract. Uh, this needs to be priority number uh, one. In this system at least. It needs uh, doesn't need to be uh, round robin and it could self-feed. I don't know. Shouldn't self-feed. That's... Uh, that's fine by me. Always active. It's the green channel. That's all fine. 
so now whenever something is inserted in here we're going to set this to extract always when something is inserted in here it will produce items and they will go somewhere else for instance this uranium grid will probably go back right back in here if we allow this to uh, insert and extract as well it has priority zero but it will input it into here so that's really nice now we want this to work as well we want this to accept items priority zero so uh, if it can't go into the crusher it will go into the smelter which is nice in case of our uranium grid uh, this one doesn't need to be connected at all for which we need the Yetta wrench. Oh, we don't want this back entirely. We just want to get rid of this conduit. There we go. Because uh, this will just auto feed with charcoal, which is fine. And this, uh, I'm hoping there will be no overflow um, from this. Uh, for instance, if this is still going with uranium, and this is uh, this is filling up with something else. If this gets emptied, what goes in here? Yeah, I was afraid of that. It will just take random ores. That's not what we want. We don't want that at all. Because we want these to be crushed first. So we need to make a system where items will go into here if they have been crushed. And then we'll go into the furnace. So we need another chest. Which is fine. Uh, chest. Do we have any chests? Left, no, we'll make one. In fact, we'll make four. There we go. So we'll need a, a placeholder chest right here. And this will connect. Uh, this will be in this system. Oh, um, let's see, insert priority zero. That's fine. So anything that gets crushed will go into here. Uh, we'll make this priority one and this priority two. Oh, but no, then it will auto-input. That's not that's not what we want at all. Um, so we want this to be uh, insert, no, uh, extract only. Redstone mode always active. And it will need to... No, I don't think this is going to work because this needs to be in chain. Um, so this will not accept anything from that chest. It will not be connected to this chest. It will need to be connected to the crusher, but not to this chest. So it needs to be on a separate system. Right, we can do this. We can do this. So we put all of the ores back in here. There we go. Uh, this this is going to be a very simple, uh, very simple system. So this can this can just be like this. This is going to be extract, always active. This is going to be accept insert always active so this will just take grids and dusts which we have crushed up which will come from here now we need to disable this one there we go and this needs to be an insert only and this needs to be extract always active so if something's in the crusher right it will go into here now this is exactly what we want this is um, a rather compact system. I could have made it more compact if this furnace generator was not here. Then we could have just had a line from here into there. Uh, we could, of course, put these items into here directly. But not all of these items will, um, will properly go into a furnace. So I think this is the best option all round. We'll just have all of the ores in here. They will smelt into here. And look, it's now inserting the tin dust. Yeah, this is going to be fine. So we'll just put in all of the ores that we have into this crate. And whatever is able to be crushed will be crushed and go into here. Nice. So a little bit of automation. So I've done a bit of digging and, uh, and working around the place. Uh, I've decided to dismantle the uh, automatic tree cutter because it just wasn't working well. Uh, items would get stuck behind the repeater and uh, the, uh, the birch trees wouldn't grow at all because there was a block next to them. Uh, so yeah, it was really uh, quite the bother. So what I'm 
intending to do is just I've bought one of those uh, saplings from the uh, from the market uh, from these jungle saplings and I'm just gonna grow jungle trees instead because uh, a 2x2 two two jungle tree is massive it's huge and it will get me logs for days and the, the same logs will just be used to uh, uh, to create charcoal it doesn't matter which log you use so that's really good that's nice to have uh, I'm gonna grow these saplings uh, even though it's getting night I might uh, might want to have a sleep there we go holding my chest plate in my hand while we sleep there we go watering can we're uh, we're just gonna set up a, a couple of these giant trees that we can take down with our axe if we ever need to uh, need to get some charcoal in the system. We could automate this, of course. You can automate almost everything in these mods. Oh, that one didn't drop a sapling. Oh, that's a, <laughs> that's a bit tricky. Didn't grow a sapling. Uh, all right, uh, let's hope this one drops a, a sapling or two. That would be really nice to have a couple of saplings at least. Uh, I know jungle saplings are rare, but I didn't think they would be that rare. Uh, otherwise, we could just buy them from the market. We've got we've got shit to sell, so that's all good. There we go. That one didn't give me any saplings at all. All right, so this might be a bit problematic then. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna see to if there is anything I can do to enhance uh, sapling growth, because I believe that mod packs like Sky Factory have. Uh, have a higher sapling drop rate by default. So what if I type it in sapling? Right, let's see if we can make jungle saplings uh, just from scrap boxes, carpenters, and mana infusion. Yeah, that's no good to us. We, uh, yeah, we uh, we don't want to uh, we don't want to get into Britannia just yet. So we'll have to buy saplings from the market with stuff we sell. Which is fine, I can do that. Uh, we can sell a whole lot of wheat, uh, we can sell uh, carrots, we can sell potatoes, we can sell the lot. And there we are, let's make some conduits. We def desperately need some, uh, some permanent power because this charcoal situation is not going to last very long. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make some windmills for which we need a metallurgic infuser at the very least. Uh, metallurgic infuser, there it is. Uh, it's easy to make. It's just uh, some osmium and some stuff. Where is it? There it is. We could probably make it now, yeah. It's very easy to make, but it requires a couple of, uh, a couple of steps before we can do anything useful with it. So uh, it's full of power immediately. That's nice. Uh, we've got some recipes we can take. Uh, for instance, we... Uh, we could infuse uh, copper with tin to make it into bronze. That's nice. Uh, we can make uh, refined obsidian dust. We can make uh, mossy cobblestone. It's all very nice, but the things we're looking for is enriched alloys. We need to make enriched alloys, which is iron and redstone. And it's kind of like the uh, iron and redstone recipe that we're using here for the conductive iron. Except what you do is you put this in, you put this in. This will be stored in a buffer and this will be used in the iron ingots to actually make uh, actually make the enriched alloys we need. We need quite a couple of them. Uh, there we go, this is done. Whoop, in there. Uh, we need some rest first of all. We need a bit of rest and we need... A a couple of other items uh, and then we can connect it to the main power frame with these conduits because let's be honest we we need some better power we need some better power really fast let's open up this door so if i'm looking at generators i can see this wind generator over here which takes a couple of osmium a couple of energy tablets which is gold redstone and these enriched alloys and it also takes a basic circuit board, which is osmium and redstone. So it's not too hard, uh, too hard to make, but you need to make it nonetheless. So let's make eight of these, I guess. There we go. Let's make eight of these enriched alloys. And let's make... Uh, 
What else do we need? We need some osmium, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I think eight osmium would do us for, four osmium even would do us fine for now. So this metallurgic infuser, it's done now. We need uh, four of these. You know what? Let's just make eight so we have eight. And we have cleared the redstone out of there. That would be nice. It just takes a lot of redstone and some basic control circuits. But once you get to know them, they're not too bad. Uh, some golden redstone. Gold check. We'll, uh, we'll take a, a nice lot. Some redstone. Uh, I don't know why I'm taking these out of the machine, because we can make them in the machine. That would be far easier to do it like this. Get some basic control circuits. Let's put them in, and let's make these. We need two energy tablets for every uh, every generator we make. And then, boom. No, not boom just yet. Uh, the energy tablets, apparently, are not to be auto-crafted. All right. I can live with that. I can certainly live with that. I need to find them just. Uh, there, there they are. That's one, and that's two. Now this makes a wind generator. These wind generators are very nice to have because they provide passive power. You don't need to do anything to get it. You can just hook it up to anywhere. Uh, what we want is we probably want these on the roof because on the roof is where the most power is had. So let's get rid of this. We need some ladders to get up there and a trap door. Ladder. Do we have any? Yes, we have. All right. Do we have a trap door? We have a trap door. There we go. Uh, is this done? Yes, it's done. Great. Go into the machine. Uh, we can make. Uh, we can make another one. I guess. I guess we can. Yes. Uh, no, we need more enriched alloy. All right. So that's redstone. Let's have two and two iron because that's exactly what we're missing. Put it in the infuser. There we go. 20 redstone. It gives you 10 liquid redstone for every uh, dust you put in. There we go. Get rid of you. Uh, perhaps not. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Come on. One more. Yes, thank you. We'll put this in. We'll put this in as well. And we'll switch up this recipe all right, there we go. Two of these wind generators. That will do us nicely for quite a while. We're going to climb up. And we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to place another ladder. Uh, well, no, we don't want to place another ladder. We want to place a trap door facing downwards. Facing this way. Uh, we do need a bit of light up here. So there we go. I don't know why I haven't lit this up uh, earlier. This could could have been a disaster. So if we place a wind generator like this, it will generate... Oh, look at that. It will generate 9, 10... Oh, no, this is what it has at the moment. It, it generates uh, a 64 RF per tick. That's really nice. That is actually really nice to have. All right, so let's uh, connect these with a probe, uh, with some conduits, I mean, and let's... Uh, you know, why is this turned the other way? I don't I don't really know what's happening here. Uh, can we turn these around with a wrench? I'm guessing we can. Sky blocked. What's happening over here? Sky is blocked for this one. Oh, that is really uh, awkward. So how is this then? This is not working because it's... Uh, oh, it is. It is working. All right, so these need to face the right way, apparently. I can live with that. I can totally live with that. Um, all right, so... Oh, we don't really want to block the sky for these. Is this one working now? Is it? Uh, oh, <laughs> that wasn't my intention. There we go. Uh, we don't really want to block the sky for these, so let's find the safe way for them to come down, which is apparently this way. Uh, you know what? We can do this easier. There we go. Let's just take them off the side of the building, right? 
Why not? Why not? Let's just go down from here. Now this one stops every now and again, and I really don't know why. It says... It said sky blocked. It, it stops working all of a sudden when you're not looking. It's, it's like a... Uh, it's like in Super Mario, you've got those little ghosts that follow you around, except for when you're looking at them. It's kind of like that. Uh, we need to get up there somehow. Oh, we've got some ladders on us. How convenient. There we go. And let's take these down. Down the side of the house. There we go. Now, these will provide passive power to... Oh, sugar. I didn't really mean to do that. It's a bit of a, a bit of a rookie mistake. We'll replace that chest later on. Uh, first things first, we need to connect this to the... Uh, to the actual computer, because that's the thing that needs power the most. There we go, it will always draw passive power. Now we've got an actual backup generator for if we need some backup. Uh, could we do this any nicer? I guess we can. And there we go, it's a bit nicer. Alright, so uh, we've got this... Um, yeah, we, we've got this. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say, really. Uh, yeah, so let's hook it up to the furnace and to the this one as well. We are lacking some materials. All right, let's quickly craft some more conduits because they are really nice to have. Let's reinstall this uh, chest. It has, yeah, it has uh, remembered what to uh, what to use and what not to. So we'll get rid of the, uh, we'll replace, I mean, this slab. There we go. We've got some dusts ready to go into here. We've got some cobblestone, which we don't really need right now. And now we need some more conduits. So let's make these. We've probably got some left. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And these conduits will be used to connect this to the system as well. There we go. Now, we can make some conduit facades to make these look like cobblestone. That would be really nice, but we need a painter for that. Uh, this is not painted, so we need a painter. Or a painting machine. Something, something paint. There we go. Painting machine. Takes some diamonds, some electrical steel, and a chassis. It's not some not something we can do right now, but we'll have to do it in the nearby future. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode. It's uh, it's a bit of a tidy up episode. You need one of those every now and again. Uh, let's have some humble apple pie. There we go. Oh, I love how it looks in the in the fridge. You can just see it all. Uh, come on, let let me show you. There, you can see all of the food in the fridge while it's open. That's really nice. Uh, so yeah, let's eat some pie. There we go. And for now, I think we're uh, we're done with this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you did like this episode, you are free to leave a like. If you didn't like this episode, you can also press the dislike button, which really doesn't help me at all. But at least you're being honest. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Have a great day.